All right, coming up next, it's a UFC lightweight division bout. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the U.S. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioners in this division, D.C., and I know how many chokes you have in your arsenal. Offensive Jiu-Jitsu, defensive Jiu-Jitsu doesn't get much better than this guy. It doesn't get as high level in terms of Jiu-Jitsu knowledge. He knows in every exchange that he's the guy that's processing things at a different level, from the armbar submissions that he has shown in the octagon to the beautiful guillotine chokes that he does over and over again. And don't think that he won't roll for a knee bar and get a submission. Right. It's just constant danger when you're in the jiu-jitsu with this guy. And even the high-level wrestlers that he's fought have paused to try to take him down because of that patented guillotine. It's so truly a case of pick your poison with this Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Daryush is four years his senior. The rest is roughly identical. And now one more time for the official introductions. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 22 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Yorba Linda, California, USA, Benil Daryush. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 20 wins, 3 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Liverpool, England. Obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. You ready? All right, folks, fasten your seat belts. This could end up being a very technical, very entertaining fight. I'm surprised they didn't bring out the keys for this one, Shane. I mean, you would have thought as a jiu-jitsu watcher that you would see these two competitors at a jiu-jitsu competition. But ultimately, they are meeting in the octagon, and you are about to see jiu-jitsu in the UFC like we've never seen before. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your front. 
All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Doriush is attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. All right, has the guard closed here. Oh, that is a high-level transition to half guard and now in a position to do a lot of damage. Watch him sit back on the leg and land big ground and pound. I mean, how many can he take? Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, some big punches raining down here, picking the spots well, and hasn't chosen to engage his opponent on the ground necessarily, posturing up and, and making these shots count. I mean, why would he? He's having so much success doing it in fighting in this exact same manner that's leading him to be ahead in the fight right now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, man, that was slick. Just over two minutes, round one. Ground and pound strike there now. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Closed guard here. He's very comfortable here working off of his back, DC. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Daryush. Elbow. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. 90 seconds remain in the round. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts. Darius is going for an arm here. Oh, wow. Oh! He might get a finish here. It's in there deep. There you go. Somehow stays in the fight. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Block. he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Doryush. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying... Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. Second round underway. Man, striking classes in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. 
What a damaging one. Oh, nice jab. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away. The hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Right into side control. Side control now. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Close guard. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Strong bottom work here. Staying busy. Darius is right back to the full mount here. And he landed the right hand there. All right, dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you got to start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much now. The guy's attacking the triangle. He finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel, right? That's to his opponent. When it's time to finish. Oh, now he's in trouble. Wow. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten the out and just go for the finish. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Good fight here, under two to go. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Now connects with the right. Just over a minute to go, round two. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Final minute. Top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Down into his mouth. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Oh, nice. And attack an armbar. The 
continuing to try to manipulate the oh, head and here. there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. It wasn't just the accuracy, it was the aggressiveness, the volume. It was unbelievable to watch him be so active. The cardio, the push the pace and the pressure that he fought with. It's going to be very interesting to see if he can maintain this over 50 minutes. Nice hammer fist. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. All right, working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh-oh. Going up a triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submissions, and if he's not careful here, he's gonna get stuck and he will have to submit. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now, he's in a lot of danger. He's gotta grab that head, or he's going to get blasted. Close guard. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing this. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Daryush. Lands the ground and pound strike. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. I mean, how many can he take? Useful strike there, the ground and pound on point tonight. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Well, significant swelling now in and around that left eye. Might even be starting to close. Darius is back in full now. Just over two minutes to go. I mean, how many can he take? Under two minutes to go in round three. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Doryush. I mean, how many can he take? Oh, is he an active pursuer of the submission? Got to be careful, Armbar. He should be defending right now. And this might just be a matter of time. Oh my 
my goodness, what a fight. Yeah, that is high-level grappling right there as he gets the win tonight here by way of submission. And he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop in this contest at 3 minutes, 57 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by tap out, Benny Well, the celebration is on in his corner and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, but they get it by submission. They knew what they had in front of them. They knew how tough a competitor his opponent was, but they also knew that if they could get this fight to the ground, they could find a submission. They found a submission. He got his hand raised in the way that he loves the most.